What is going on, guys? Today we are looking at Dembele, the French 86 rated striker coming in at a whopping 1.7 mil practically on both consoles. He is very, very meta and he is very good. The five star, five star. Barcelona striker, links to Messi, links to player of the month Fatty, he links to pretty much any La Liga player, obviously he was good at a left wing just because he had that strong link to uh, Ferland Mendy, which I really liked, but again, you could put him as CDM and link him that way, there's absolutely so much that you can do with this card, I can see why his price is so high, the question is, how much would you be willing to spend on this card realistically, remembering that Mbappe is, I think about 800 now, I've not really checked in the past few days, but Mbappe is practically half this price. What would you pay for a Dembele at this moment in time, no matter what coins? Let me know down below. Make sure you like and subscribe, and let's get into the video. So, like I said, Dembele is a five star, five star French amazing player. High attacking work rate, medium defensive, 5'10 left footed with what traits? Injury prone, great. Flair, and then the rest are computer AI. The one thing that he's got is the links. There's so many good links that we'll explore in the end of the review, but I just kind of wanted to, to see what this car's like. He's very hyped up. He's come in with Auer and St. Max. Incredible French players. Once again, we are getting so many specials, it's unreal. The French special team, or the the best French team you can get, disincluding icons, is already looking absolutely insane. And the best thing is, you can link Messi off this if you do like a Messi, if you've got a Messi. Personally, I haven't played with him as of yet, but we do uh, have well, we have played with him in draft at the very least, and he has come down a hell of a lot of price. In terms of his stats then, 93 pace, 84 shooting, 86 dribbling, 73 physical. It's not the most amazing looking stats like they're, they're not looking particularly amazing but the one thing that he'll have is the five star five star which is always incredible he then has an upgrade of plus seven shooting one pace 17 physical and then he has a plus three on the defending so nothing on the dribbling increased and nothing on the passing which is a shame because i would have liked a little bit more dribbling the 80 composure would be the one thing that i would say the 1.6 mil would really benefit with a higher rated of that in terms of chemistry style we're looking mainly either at well the highest one is shadow technically because i suppose shooting's already pretty high up there i would possibly be looking at the finisher trait or if you're going for more of a Cam Dembele, which I think he would suit down to the ground, very much Neymar-esque, you could go with the Dead Eye, which would obviously get 92 shooting, and he'll up his passing up to 85. If you're looking for out-and-out -out striker, I personally would suggest Finisher. Gets his shooting up to 93, gets his dribbling up to 93. 99 agility, 86 balance. For me, that's an absolute win. It would only put him as an 85 striker. It's because, basically, they've not upgraded the striking stats they've upgraded kind of a little bit of shooting and then a bit of physical but nothing really too drastic to say that he's kind of like this all-round striker very much still a left wing card if you went with a dead eye you'd get an 85 rated striker and or an 88 left wing if you went with the shadow which what people suggested in terms of footbin personally i just don't see why they would you get a bit more defending but it'll only be 48 i personally don't get why that's a vote it may be a boycott on the, the site because there's 54 percent and really it doesn't make any sense whatsoever so i would go finishing dead eye and then maybe you could you wouldn't really want any more pace to be honest so i'd probably just stick with finishing or dead eye but let's go into the review into the gameplay and see what he can do so if we look at him we played him up front with our in the objective, um, in the friendlies objective, and he was phenomenal. To start with, few decent skills, went for the pot shot. I thought, you know what, we've linked a few skills together. We'll give it a try. We go here, we get the ball, we kind of turn him. He's got incredible agility, very quick to turn. Little ball roll, we go with a stop, little roll. And how does he miss that on his strong foot? I really thought that that would be a sensational goal scored. But unfortunately, he misses it by just an inch. And overall, he started to then really pick up the pace. Manages to get goals, assists, a couple of crosses here, there and everywhere. I really liked him as a striker. I feel like he played better than what he kind of shows in terms of stats as I think Aura to be honest is a better statted card and it clearly is but I think for me Dembele would be more the striker and Aura would be more of a cam and we see here managing 
how we managed to do that. We literally just conceded. Hits it as a hit and hope. We know we've ran too fast and he manages to get it. It kind of bobbled over the keeper. Can't really complain too much. We see here again, I thought that was going to be a cracking volley. Unfortunately, the five star did not kind of sustain. Managed to get him through just here. We go around him. Keeper's made an absolute fumble and it's just another goal. Absolute goals galore with him. I can see why he's 1.6 mil. Would I personally pay it? Probably not. I don't think he's worth 1.6. I've seen many, many better players, but unfortunately, he's brand new. So as you can see on the end of the review, he's 1.7 practically across both consoles. He has technically gone up by about 40, 50k if Footbin's prices was absolutely correct. For me, it's just not worth it. I really don't think it's worth it in comparison to like the Mbappes. Literally, I think if we go to France, we can have a look at a few of the players. His record breaker is 1.9. His actual card is just under 800, half of the price of what this card is. And don't get me wrong, I know this card is brand new. It's fresh. It links a whole, a whole new dynamic in terms of Mbappe to Messi and all of that good stuff. You can add Conte in there. There's a lot of good players. So I can see why he's so expensive i just don't think personally he's worth that sort of price tag st max pretty much the same sort of player 1.1 mil a little bit better priced still very very expensive i would much rather go get this card and put him up front to be honest i think that's an absolute steal of a card right there but dembele it's the name it's the five star five star you can't get much better than that i think realistically for me if I was going to say this is a, a, a 1.6 mil card, I would need more composure. Balance I'm okay with because we can get that up. I think maybe a kind of like an overall little bit more of the pa uh, passing would be nice. Maybe a bit more aggression or strength. I'd take either or. And then per personally, it's probably pretty good then because we whack the finisher on. We get the finishing up pretty, pretty nicely. I don't think you need a hell of a lot to more. Dribbling wise, maybe a bit more reactions. Ball control could be up in the 90s, and then that for me then would be about a 1.6 mil card. Still very expensive, but I could be more open to actually paying that. In terms of Barcelona links, as you can see, Griezmann, Ansu, Messi, incredible. You can't argue with that front three. And then obviously France, you don't really need to know because there's so many good players. You can literally just rattle off names and they have all got specials already. It's practically the French uh, French FIFA for the past two years now. We got so many good summer heats and it will continue to grow and grow because they are such an incredible nation in terms of their players right this second. And all for it. If we can get more and more, I'll absolutely take it because the French team that we can start to make is absolutely phenomenal. In terms of Dembele's generation then, he is a young lad. He's only coming in at 23. FIFA 17, he started with a gold card. Then getting a team of the season in the first year. <clears throat> He then, in the FIFA 18, got a footage, didn't really do a hell of a lot, got a path to glory, but that was about it. He then obviously gets a team of the season in FIFA 19 with a headliner and then a road to the final and a summer heat in FIFA 20. What does FIFA 21 hold for this lad? I've heard he's not done too much in the game or in, in real life, for instance. We'll actually have a look because we can have a look at his in real life. I've heard he's not done a hell of a lot, one goal in eight. It's not amazing. Barcelona's form has not been the same as what it has in, in kind of past years. But hopefully we can see something of a team of the season, Dembele again, or at least a 90 plus because he is a sensational French winger if you can get him there. Five star, five star. Really good player. Overall, I've given him a 9 out of 10. I think really that, that that what's stopping him getting a 10 for me is just the price. Price and composure are the main two for me. Other than that, absolutely spectacular card. So we will be doing uh, St. Max next. And I think Chiellini or Kappa, if we can get him done. So make sure you like and subscribe for that. Let me know again, like I said at the start of the video, how much would you be willing to pay for this Dembele? Let me know down below. And I'll see you for the next one.